How's it going everyone? Hayden here. Welcome back. We're going to be starting a brand new series today and so like I said in my Arizona Coyotes video that I just posted I'm scrapping my GM mode and made some big mistakes so let's do something a little bit more straightforward. We're going to do be a pro mode and although I have a be a pro going kind of just a casual one I would like to do a serious one for you guys. So I already have it all started up so I don't have to like go through that cutscene with the Ray Ferraro thing and the Scout and the Carter Lake. So we're just going to get started and start building our guy and then see where we go from there and where we're going to play. So I'm not going to put my last name in there but that's kind of Eastman is what I use so Hayden will keep Eastman and I play center well, I played center as a kid and everything, but my like um, ESHL player, I'm always center and um, pretty much just try to grab center whenever I can. And right wing, I guess, will be my alternative. So, left-handed shooter, that'll be me. I'm always lefty, obviously. I mean, I'm a le <laughs> I shoot left, but I'm right-handed, so I guess that's what people call goofy. Or is that, no, that's when you're skateboarding. Okay. Knowledge, right? Should I go for 34 and just be like Matthews? Yeah, 34 looks good. It's just a solid number. And I know they have Eastman, because that is actually where I got Eastman from. Because, oh my god, I'm wrong. I'm talking about MLB. Okay, we're going to be Eves. I use Eves in NHL and Eastman in MLB, because no one has my real last name. All right, let's try to emulate this guy after me. So I, <laughs> sorry to disappoint, but if I'm gonna be center, I have to be a little taller than real life me. So if we look at real life me, I'm around five foot eight. So that would be a recipe for a disaster for me to play center. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be a little, we're gonna be six two, 212 pounds. Yes, okay, fighter sometimes. All right, it pretty much knows me. Wow. <laughs> I forgot, a lot of it's already auto-filled. So, right. I forgot, there's a lot more, like, steps to set up your guy here. So, my head. Honestly, I like keeping the default face because anything else other than that is just horrifying. Like, it's just not good. So my hair right now, I mean, a few months ago before, like, everyone was stuck inside forever, you know, maybe a little bit like this. Sometimes not. It, it wasn't that dramatic, but I don't think you guys have seen me with my haircut. But now, basically, looking pretty <laughs> No, no, it's, it's not that dramatic. My fiancé would kill me. Um, you know, wake up in the morning, maybe look a little like this look a little simple but then when I go to the bathroom for a bit you know it's like I don't have the Matthews hairline but let's try to find a better representation no not that long see I want it to feel like it's actually my guy no I'm not a Jersey Shore boy ah uh, yes my dad good old dad <laughs> I see a lot of guys online play with this hair for some reason, and it, honestly it's kind of intimidating, but I haven't lost to them yet, I haven't lost to any guys that have the, the girl hair, I guess, that's a little, ooh, what is this, did they put a hair update in or something, these guys look like they're from Fallout or something, <laughs> okay, let's actually, it's hair, let's pick hair, hair, hair? Sure, my hair is not that long, but you know what? This is not real life. How about dark? Mm. Alright, it's going to be under a helmet anyway, so it's not going to be that bad. So, I can grow a beard, obviously. My, in my, uh, what do you call it? My icon for my channel, the profile picture, was me not shaving for six months, and it... I'll do a little representation. So I'm not, I don't want my guy like having like the, oh my God. Yeah, it's been like that one time. We're going to make it a little bit more respectable. 
So I don't want the whole season for him to have a massive beard, but I want him to have like a beard. So let's try to see the halfway look. No. Yeah. So like all season, he'll be rocking that. And then the playoff beard, obviously, is going to be like that. I can, I've grown like that long in real life, but a lot more unkempt because it was just, I was trying to see how long it would grow. So there's a lot more underneath. So this is actually not a good representation but if I want to be a good player as Babcock says or if I end up on Lou Lamorello's Devils or something gotta chop it right all right equipment okay I'm not that big on like brands or anything so pretty fine with everything but no I never use a jersey tuck online or anything. I'm sure I'm to just go like online. I haven't opened up enough bags or anything on uh, ESHL to jog my memory of what the hell these sticks are called. <laughs> Here it is. Love this. The AX9. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I always, for some reason, I cannot play with my stick being like not fully taped heel to toe. That's how I always used to do it. No blade showing whatsoever. So it's pretty good. Now, I like the super tax, and I do like blocking shots, so I'm probably going to be looking at putting some of the blockers on. Yeah, let's go with the rib course. I have my guy emulating after Crosby on ESHL right now, but... So I do like a lot of CCM stuff. Obviously, he was a huge Reebok guy. Uh, you need so if I'm gonna be blocking a lot of shots, I need something that's gonna go over the laces. Uh, that looks too ugly. There we go. Don't want to break my foot first shift. So obviously, I'm gonna be like skipping over some stuff. But I, oh, goal celebration! Cannot skip over that. So, you want to show that you absolutely embarrassed the other team, but you also want to have a celebration that you can use every time. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's a classic. You don't see many people do that anymore. Behavior. I forget what this one is. Oh, shot styles. So, I know online I use 18. But I know if you want to go... Oh, that's sick. That's a little bit more 90 degrees. So obviously I'm not going to be hitting a lot of one-timers because of me being a center. But if I'm going to be playing like Matthews or something like that, you know, the opportunity for a wind-up is there. Okay, so 20 and 18. Skating styles, I don't really do much of. Honestly, like if you just look up online how to like emulate a guy's skating style, you can add the you can adjust the numbers and but honestly I've never been I don't really like the feature too much I know a lot of people do because you can make your guy look ridiculous or skate like Connor McDavid but oh well okay so yeah here we go I'm gonna be a center sniper because that's what my casual be a pro is I made my guy after Matt Sundin he's a 6'5 center sniper and if you Austin Matthews is actually a sniper in this game. I think so. Or was it last year? Whatever it was, it's a really good class to use offline. Not online, unfortunately. So, I really like playing in the Memorial Cup. I, I know it's easy just to pick your team and let yourself be able to go to the AHL if you don't make the team. Which I don't not plan on making the team. Europe was cool, but I think I... I'm going to do the Memorial Cup. I think Europe, you know, everyone was excited about, but it was, it was just another option coming in. Um, since I'm from Ontario, I'm going to do the OHL. Okay. Uh, you could just go full London Knights. You also got to think if you got, I mean, I don't even know if you can't make the team, but if you got sent down or something, you can hope that you'd go back to your team and they would still be good. 67, this wouldn't be that bad. You know what, I'm gonna go with the Peterborough Peets. Because that's my, my place. 
Okay, we are going to stick on All Star. All right, I'm not going to listen every segment. Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And right, now for most of these one, players, it, it'll be the Memorial. biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic Stop tournament. Stop talking, Ray. few years. <laughs> you still remember the moment, though? I do because it turned I got out, justice. Uh, as it turned out rather that's the only tournament we ever won. The only one I was ever on the winning side of. Well, let's look at this stop, year's stop, edition. Stop, stop. God, thank God. Okay. Hey, hey, you're on the verge of being drafted to the NHL. When you get drafted, depends on how well you do in this tournament. So go out there and impress the scouts with your skills. I think you could go first overall. So a couple options. Thank you for your support, Taylor. I'm confident I'll get team and we'll get it all. Your support. Yeah, let's be kind of a team guy. I can't be like cocky or anything, so. Did I? That's better. Now I'm in the middle. Oh, don't forget to build up your personal brand along the way. I just opened up endorsement opportunities for you. Yeah, that's more kind of being an ass <laughs> and a superstar, but they don't give you many great options for dialogue. All right. All right, I think we have another conversation with the coach. Hayden, how you doing? I want to talk with you regarding the first tournament game. You understand it's a big deal for the team, right? Team. Yes, I'm going to be team. Of course, I know that's really important. Da -da -da. Great to hear. I want you to help lead this team to victory at our next game. Okay. Win the game. So that's good. I never, oh, I'm not going to overpromise anything. I'm not going to, if he asks for a goal, I'm not going to say I'm going to get a hat trick or anything. Because once you start failing and failing and failing, it's pretty hard to recover. But yeah, uh, 20 minutes. It's, it's nice when you're on like the fourth line because you get a bunch of ice time. But once you start getting up there in the lines, you're playing a full hockey game. So playing against the Kelowna Rockets. So WHL. Yeah, this is Memorial Cup because they never play each other. So maybe we can win. Maybe we can. Let's see. It's a hot ticket tonight, and we here at EA Sports are so excited to bring it to you. Along right. with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Prospera Place, Kelowna. Final thoughts before we get this one underway? Really an important game. To Jones, game Minnesota Wild draft excited. pick. You can hear the chatter on the benches between the players. Roman they want to get one. They're nervous to start. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Let's get it. All right, first shift. Let's go. The Pete's have it now. The cross teams. Here's a shot oh. off the crossbar. Right off the crossbar. Close, but they can't get close enough. That shot hits the goalpost and stays out. Colonus looking to break out. All right, good start there. Let's get it back. Zone. Just hit There's the crossbar. The Offside is the call. Are they going to show that replay? No, just whatever. <laughs> More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Kelowna's ahead, one nothing. Yeah, so I've been to and the Memorial Center the to watch a Pete's game, and On the, the, the Memorial Center is amazing. One of the oldest Columbus arenas the in, in all of the Ontario the hockey league. Have it against the wall. And he gets in the lane to block that. Across the line from center. I think I... Here's a shot. Yeah. Mississauga Steelheads were there playing. We ended up losing in a shootout. But they're a good team. They got a lot of good players. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Pete's looking against the half wall. See, I was trusting that he would have just passed that to me. And I wasn't going to call for it. And then I probably should have. I'm on battle. Battle. Let's see, come on. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous change, right? Still in the first. So I had a B pro with the New York Rangers, and I made my guy like my size, like 5'8. 
and I didn't score in the NHL for like 15 games. So hopefully me being 6'2 when I do go to the NHL, it's going to be a little easier to contribute because it's not fun. I actually ended up just changing the difficulty and just doing it all. But I didn't win the tie-up. Oh, okay, getting good shots. Really good save as the shooter thought he had an opening. But it's turned aside. Takes the That's side. out. Oh, <laughs> get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets this guy feels really off. good for being on All Star. I mean, getting some good chances. I know it's lower level of competition right now, but good start. And that's the thing. My shot is good, so I think I was a playmaker on the wing with my first be a pro and the shots were just muffins they weren't getting anywhere past the goalie <laughs> oh i'm i'm collapsing way too much there's an offside warning it's been glitched there for a bit so oh come on don't be suspicious don't be suspicious nice. that's a goal not for me no points Samyun Der Arshinsev. He is a Leafs draft pick and is playing in the KHL in Russia right now, if you didn't know that. He moved away from home when he was 14 years old to play for the Peets. And then he, yeah, turned... I think he played for, like, a different team then, but he ended up paying, playing for the Peets when he was 15 or 16, so... Right. We got a plus. I've got some hits. It's looking good. Five on four. Oh, so I'm on a penalty kill. It's not a surprise. If it, it would be if we were in the NHL. Still on the kill. Come on. Good, good, good. Probably going to be out here for a while. I'm not helping you out there. All you. Oh. I'd like to see him be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power I'm play. I'm keep pressure. Colonis on the attack. No. From the slot, oh. fires away. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Come on. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we off, all do. Off, you off, off, in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goal. Good kill. Halfway that was a good zone entry. Period. The next goal could be a big Everyone was really happy. Straight to win. There and you go. Momentum on their side as they win Come on, the keep it, keep it, keep it. Peterborough's got a hold of it along the wall. Fires one with authority. There's the whistle ah. as things will slow down. Just... Clearing that one. Up along the wing. Come Takes on. the feed. From point two. Ooh. Great. I won't. I only ever do that online. I, I don't ever score that and be a pro because you get rated on stuff. And <laughs> let's see that replay. That was disgusting. Oh, goalie came out way too far. That was a five. No, that was five hole. Let's see this. Oh, it was. Yeah, see, he came up way too far, and he was recovering backwards, and that's what made it go through. Okay. Nice. 2-1. Oh. oh. Damn. No momentum. <laughs> that's the logic that we deal with. Come on. Yeah, just get hit. Bad zone entry, man. Oh. Why are you in the way? Oh. <laughs> I love just clapping it from in close there. Seal the deal. Only 2 1. Peterborough's moving it into the offensive end. And they fail to go tape to tape. Oh, he got crushed. And he recovers, though. So I got Pocket, SDA, and I. Oh, wait. 
Who's Fort Kirk? No, Parkett. Parkett's the defenseman. What a save. Takes the feed That's a... the the neutral zone. Okay, what's he want? You're putting the pressure on, don't stop. Yeah. There, Ray, what are you seeing on the bench? Well, the coach has gone to the rookie, and he wants him to continue with what has gone on. They've been aggressive. They've been all over them. They don't keep want the to take the foot on the gas, yeah. That's what I was saying, Ray. Wonderful job. <laughs> oh. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Let's go. I was trying to just dangle around him, but... Gains the zone through center. Oh, we're gonna get scored on here. No, no, no. Takes the feed. And he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Brady hints. That's a he is so short in person. Sends like pass over. If you see him on the ice, he looks like like I strapped on a pair of skates and just went out. Sends the pass over. Nice play oh. shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Let's go. Moves inside! Oh. Dismiss that chance. Somehow the shooter got loose the in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Peterborough's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And the puck oh, leaves the I offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Rockets can't take advantage on the power play, and they remain a goal behind. Grabs the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Peterborough's got a hold of the puck. Fails to oh, find the open just man. Quickly move around. Lee's got it across the line. Not the case. Centering oh, pass in front. Oh, good save, Jones. Same as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Peterborough's attempt Jones. to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The frozen biscuits That's dropped, and we are back underway here. The Pete's take it along the wall. Oh, I hate that. Can't I hate that so much. Pass. The Rockets gain control of the puck against the wall. Peterborough's got possession here in the neutral zone. Close save. Somehow got a piece of wow. it. The I thought Rockets that had no take shot. possession in the defensive end. Can't find his man. That's a big time hit along yeah, the wall. Yeah, he got rocked. It is James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Come on, seven minutes left. Let's hang on to this. Look, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Slides the puck over. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is We get some second unit another time. Another penalty. Time of the penalty. 13 minutes, 20 seconds. Official seeing obstruction on this one. It is the call. When they changed the standard a few years ago, James, I thought this was one of the best ones they did. Because it allows the game to oh. roll along. And it starts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little been, bit of a That could have put it away. Zone, so this is a good play. A big face off here inside the offensive end. Hurry up, big draw. Eves has won the draw. Picked up along the boards by Pop. What are you trying to one time it from there go. for? Let's it go. Puts it high. Going for the top. Oh, he just misses oh. it up top. Just started getting behind. Get off me. Wow, just from absolute stop. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. 3 1 Pete's. Liam Kirk. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape. And the That's why I like being center because you just get to see all the lanes and make the passes, and it's just it's fun. The Pete's have recently taken a two-game lead. They'd love to build on it. I thought our bench was the far one. I easily could have went for a change. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. All right. First game, first win. And there's the final horn. Putting a bow on this one here this evening. The Pete showed us tonight that shoot, shoot, and shoot some more. Nice pass to set up the goal. Thank you. I do like the new like interactions thing. It adds a lot of like freshness to the game. Especially like just it was so hard to just look forward to the next game when you were playing B Pro before because there's just nothing 
like so dry, no communication, no interactions or anything like that with the coaches or teammates or media or anything. So let's see. Phenomenal performance. Did you talk a little more about what we saw on the ice as Ray Ferraro and Razor? I mean, Heat what swim. does that do for his draft stock? Oh man, it'll uh, it'll put a rocket to it if he continues to play in this tournament. Just want to like see. That. The scouts are going to get more and more. I'm not going to play another one. It's just going to be the one, but it's see my stock. So I do think it's going to be something like it used to. Plays like that, yes. He's going to jump a couple of spots in the draft for sure. This is really an important start to the tournament for him. Yeah, and this is where kind of all of a sudden the, the the stocks kind of rise and fall here, right? Reporter asks a question, just say get pucks in deep. That's all you say. <laughs> How's your draft stock? We got pucks in deep. <laughs> Where's your homework assignment? Got pucks in deep? I just want to see what my draft stock's like. You really impressed me with your leadership and guiding the team to victory. Thank you. Rest up. I will. I will take a big old nap. Kind of, I'm starting to really like that hair. <laughs> Alright. I don't like seeing this. I don't care. Alright. So they're not going to update me on my draft stock probably for another game or two. But, so yeah, first episode of my new Be A Pro. I wonder where we're going to get drafted. So I hope it's probably going to be like first or second overall because I think as soon as you start scoring a little bit in the tournament, your stock goes up a whole lot. So it's different than if you just play an entire season and then get drafted. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.